In December the waiting has come to an end. The third part of the Jumanji saga will be shown in the cinemas. The Rock posted a picture with his colleagues Kevin Hart, Karen Gillan and Jack Black on Instagram. In the first moment no big change to the second part, except that there doesn't seem to be much left of the green jungle scenery. And even if you look at the cast, some news reveal itself. For example, rapper Aquafina, Donald Glover and Danny DeVito join the cast. Another great thing is that B.B. Newworth, who played the aunt of the two children in the original Jumanji with Robin Williams, should also return to the camera. However, this information has to be taken with caution, as it is unconfirmed so far. Anyway, you can expect a trailer soon which might reveal a little bit more as the release date is already on December 13th, 2019. The superhero film Captain Marvel set a new record at the box office. With Brie Larson in the leading role, this is even the most successful start of a film with a female cast of all times, as in the first few days 455 million US dollars were earned. Even compared to DC's Wonder Woman, Captain Marvel is miles ahead. Now of course it's time for Marvel to look ahead and after the sensational result it's not too surprising that there are speculations about the second part of the blockbuster in the room. And although nothing has been officially announced yet, Marvel boss Kevin Feige leaves no doubt that there will be a sequel. According to him, Captain Marvel will continue to be the most powerful heroine in the MCU in the future. So, the second part could play after Captain Marvel but before the popular Avengers Endgame. Everything else you can leave in good faith in the hands of Marvel. After all, the Marvel team knows very well how they can amaze and surprise their fans each time. Nevertheless, before we talk about the second part, we should wait until April 26th when Avengers Endgame starts in US cinemas. New content for Disney's own streaming service Disney Plus is in the pipeline. According to Slashfilm, a series of the series What If, commissioned by Kevin Feige, will be created. As in the comic series under the same name, the focus will be on alternative story ends, such as what would happen if Thanos joined the Avengers or what would happen if Loki found Thor's hammer. Ideally, the actors of the real film should speak the characters of the What If series in order to point out alternative action possibilities and exits. The series, which is based on the comic original from 1977, is primarily intended to pick up MCU content. With the realization of this idea, Disney naturally wants to create more and more exclusive content for its streaming service Disney+, Plus, which will be released at the end of the year. Currently in production is a series about the former life of Loki starring Tom Hiddleston. When you think of Stephen King, films like The Shawshank Redemption, The Green Mile, or It and Pet Cemetery come to mind. Now a new film adaption of his work The Talisman will be released. The film is about the 12 year old Jack, whose mother Lily is about to die. After he has been accommodated in a hotel with her on the run from a former business partner of his father, he meets the mysterious Speedy Parker who teaches little Jack that he can save his mother if he travels not only through half of the USA, but also through mysterious territories in search of a legendary talisman. Originally, the great Steven Spielberg had secured the right to the book, however he never filmed it. But now he and his company Amblin Entertainment have contracted Fargo and Handmaid's Tale director Mike Barker for The Talisman. The Talisman is now the fourth major Stephen King horror novel after it, Pet Cemetery, and the Shining sequel Doctor Sleep, which will either be released this year or is in the works. Finally, there is a start date for the second season of popular One Punch Man. Soon you will be able to see the young hero Saitama in action of the streaming platform Hulu again, parallel to the Japanese release. All those who haven't seen the first season yet can now do so on Netflix. Fans who are looking forward to season 2 have to be prepared for a change. Since director Shingo Natsume announced his retirement last year, there will certainly be some changes with Chikara Sakurai as the new director. Release date on the streaming platform Hulu is on April 9th, 2019. After the first teaser to Aladdin gained a small shitstorm regarding the color of the Ginny, a few days ago a real trailer was now published. However, the criticism seems Disney to have taken to heart, because with the first longer trailer a lot has been done right. The interplay of costumes, humor and music now looks much more harmonic and to the taste of many fans. You can also see this in the numbers of views, since the trailer could already record more than 4 million streams in less than 24 hours. We don't have to wait too long anymore because already on May 24th we are allowed to see Guy Ritchie's Aladdin in the cinema. After Black Mirror Bandersnatch, Netflix plans to release many more interactive films in the future. Even though Bandersnatch was a complete innovation in the streaming industry and the story was not well received by everyone, we can hope for more interactive content in the future. 
Todd Yellen from Netflix commented at the press conference that they have realized that interactive storytelling is something Netflix wants to focus on in the future. He also adds that more interactive stories can be expected in the next one or two years.